Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Fallout 2, blind. I'm still preparing to leave Arroyo, because I haven't talked to everyone. Uh, you see Cameron, a fellow tribesman, so that's the guy from the temple. Uh, it's good to see you again, Chosen One. Uh, how may I help you? Oh. I guess I can visit the temple again if I really wanted to, but I don't think there's anything left to do there. Uh, still, let's ask just in case. I would like to visit the temple again. Take the path to my left. It leads to the temple proper. The cave entrance behind me will return you to the last chamber. Okay, thanks. So I don't... So this is... just This, this goes to the front then? Yeah. Clint. It's good to see you. How may I serve you? I just thought I'd say hello. I'll be leaving on my quest soon, so this repeats again. May the spirits of our ancestors protect you. Okay, so this is just the entrance and the other the other uh the cave will lead me to the last chamber, which I do not need to go to. So I guess let's check this. I presume this is where uh, Nagor's dog is supposed yeah, 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 it's here. Smoke. Okay. And so let's rescue it. There's a bed, some trash, some broken pieces of glass, and other ruined pieces of junk. Uh, a makeshift bed. The material was scavenged from some other source. Mm, the, the fire is burning. Okay. Oh, and Xander roots are something that the shaman uh, thought he can uh, said he can use. So I will gather them. How do I highlight that again? Ah, okay, shift. Okay, that's kind of weird how I seemingly can't target this. Oh well. It seems the geckos are not naturally hostile, or if they are, they have a very short... Hmm, interesting. I guess they are not. D do I want to kill them? I guess I do, mostly for experience and maybe for their skins or, or something like that, but I'm not quite sure how strong they are. So, generally speaking, I don't know if it's a good idea to attack them, but... I guess... Oh, damn it! I forgot to ask the, the shaman to heal me. I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely screwed. Uh, unless I manage to run away. I knew I forgot something. Because I, I, I might be able to defeat them, but only with full health. Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? Mm, I'd like to make some... I'd like you to make some healing powder for me. Such is life. To create a third, you will need both Xander root and Brock flower for the healing powder. Ah, okay. I only have Xander root, right? But still, I need healing. Ah, Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? Uh, my garden needs healing. You are well. Okay, thank you. Ah, chosen. 
My garden is well. How is yours? I'm okay, thanks. Let's try fighting the geckos again. They are pretty resilient. <laughs> At least compared to, to the ants. Uh, let's try a targeted attack. Uh, it, it's, it isn't really worth it. Because the chance of success is pretty low as it is. Okay, that's one of them. Okay, I'm kind of screwed. I guess I can use this. Uh, you lose one perception, so presumably that's the uh, that's the dizzying effect of the powder. But I presume it's it's temporary, right? Do they leave anything behind? No. Okay. Hmm. There's some plants in here, but... Hmm. Let's see how throwing would work. What chance do I have? 12%. 12, 12, 12%. Okay, that's not great at all, but maybe if it closes in... Obviously, I presume this 33, this would have greater damage. Well, I missed. Well, I missed again. Hmm, I might be dead, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm dead. I should, should have healed. D did I save? Because if I didn't, I can't save at the time. I will have to start from the very beginning? Okay, I guess I, I, I did survive. Okay, let's gather the spears again. If I gathered some brock flowers, I could... Um, I could potentially ask the shaman to create more uh, thingamajig. 
uh, more healing powder for me. Which obviously would be kind of useful. Is this a uh, block flower? Yeah. Actually, let me save before they uh, kill me. Which I presume they eventually will. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just straight up go back uh, to the uh, shaman and ask him to heal me. Okay, missed. About now. Okay, hit for three points. So basically that was pointless. I think kicking is actually stronger. Uh, although I can punch him three times in a turn and I can only kick him twice. So that's an interesting conundrum which is uh, stronger when you take into consideration the AP cost but kicking has uh, served me well so far so I guess let's continue with that okay I think I'm actually dead Yep, I am very dead. Hmm, okay, I just barely survived. I think I'm going to go back to the shaman and ask him to heal me, because you know, it, it seems a little bit like an exploit, but on the other hand, I do feel that the game sort of allows me to do that because it's still uh, it's still the starting location, so it's still like a tutorial, and it's more forgiving of, of my mistakes. And overall, it seems like a bit of a waste to keep chugging those healing powders when I have a free heal available right here. It's not even far. I, I don't even have to backtrack ah, or anything. Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? I need healing. You are well. Okay, thanks. Ah, chosen. It, it just seems like a waste not to utilize that. So... Uh, there was one more gecko here, right? Yeah, here it is. Actually. Okay, uh, how many more geckos in my way? I think only one? No, two. Mm. Let's try throwing the spear again, I guess. Although last time it wasn't particularly effective. Yeah, it's pretty bad w with my skill, or rather with my lack of skill.
Mm, damn it, I don't think I saved. Uh, actually, I should maybe run away. And go heal again. Like, it seems a little bit cheap, but I just can't, you know, it's so obvious a solution to this current problem of me being weak and losing in combat that it would be weird not to use it. Ah, chosen. You are well. Ah, chosen. Especially because he doesn't charge anything for it, and it doesn't look like I have an actual time limit this time. Because in Fallout 1, uh, when the Vault was dying of thirst, there was an actual counter of the days remaining until they all die. And I presume if there was an actual time limit in Fallout 2, they would have signified that. Okay. I think there's only one more. Okay, let's gather those plants, <laughs> seemingly I can't, which is kind of annoying, like why can't I do that, I do want them, and I do kind of need them as well, f for healing. I presume it would be some time before I get actual stim packs. You see a formation of rocks. This was not a natural occurrence. Okay, so it's kind of a, like a monument or something. You see a slime pool. It looks very unhealthy. You might want to wear some armored swim trunks before taking, taking a dip. Okay, woof woof. You see smoke. Okay, so is it coming with me? Yes. So let's go back to Nagor then. With his dog. You found smoke. Thanks. Smoke, you're a bad dog. You're welcome. Goodbye. You gain a hundred experience points. Okay. So, let's give the Zander root and the Brock flower to ah, the shaman. Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? I'd like you to make some healing powder for me. May this be of no use. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. That's actually good, a good one. Like, that's great. That's a great thing for a healer to say when giving you healing supplies. I, you get a point for that. That's pretty creative of you to say that like this. Because obviously what he's implying is he's wishing me that I never have a need to use the healing powder, so he's wishing me good health, basically, in a very roundabout way. That's good. 
Thanks. But I also need a regular ah, healing. Chosen. You are well. Ah, chosen. Okay, so I think I'm finally finally ready to leave. Mm. So let's go. You see a tribesman. Can I help you in your quest? No, I'm just looking around. Okay, goodbye. Oh, there's there's more uh, of the village. There are more houses. Oh, I guess only a couple. It's uh, it's a bridge already. Uh, you're standing at the Great Bridge, the passageway from your village to the vast wasteland. Okay, but let's talk with the people first. Uh, unless they are just regular tribesmen. You see a tribesman and tribeswoman. Okay, so I presume... Yeah, yeah those are just the generic ones. Okay, what about you? Are you generic? You see the bridge guard. Hello, chosen one. Off to find the geck? Yes, but before I go, I would like to ask you some questions. What do you want to know? What can you tell me of the men who trade with our village? The traders? They come from Klamath about every two months. There won't be another... There won't be another here for a month or more, but Klamath's only a few days east of here. What can you tell me about the object I have from the sacred vault? Looks like a metal water gourd. Maybe the vault sent it to us as an omen. Can you tell me who brought this item to our village? I don't remember his name, uh, just that he was old and loud. Too loud for proper manners, but he knew many things. He was for Klamath, East, like I said. Okay, thanks. Uh, can I ask anything more? Are you still here? You must go to find the Gek. Staying here doesn't help us. Uh, I would like to ask another question. Oh, hmm. Yes, I was wondering about your spear. It looks a little different. My father taught me how to make stronger blades than most. Get me a piece of flint and I will fix your spear too. You'll need it in the wilderness. Where could I get some of this flint? Uh, they say, say your aunt Morlis has been hoarding a piece. She's so ill-tempered that I don't think anyone asked her. Of course, the witch will want something in return. Okay, let's go ask her, mostly for experience, because to be honest, upgrading my spear is not... is not that crucial to me, because... oh, frig! Oh, no, 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 I picked up the other one. Uh, because I'm pretty bad at using it in the first place. Uh, what is it? You know I have a lot to do. Mm, Minox said... Minox said what? Out with it, child. But you might have some flint. I do. You want some, is that it? Well, yeah. Hmm. I want three doses of healing powder. Bad times are coming and I am going to be ready. Bring them to me and you can have the flint. Now get to it. Uh, Aunt Morlis, I am on a perilous quest for the salvation of our village. My chances of success will be greatly enhanced if I keep the healing powder for myself and you give me the flint. Don't you agree? No, I don't. No, <laughs> stop wasting my time and get out of here. Okay. Uh, do you have the powders? Uh, it's not worth it at all. But it might be worth it, like, it's not worth it in material values, but it might be worth it in experience. I presume I'm going to get experience for that. So sure, let's trade. Here is the flint. Now off with you. I don't have time to gossip. Uh, thank you. Uh, do I have any left? Uh, I have two left, okay. Mm, did you talk to your aunt? Uh, did you talk talk your aunt out of her flint? Yes, I have some right here. It's a good piece. Give me your spear. Here you go. Now put the pieces like so. Uh, here is your new spear. Thank you, my friend. This will help a lot. 
Hmm, so I didn't actually get experience for that. That's kind of sad. Sharpened spear. Okay, so let's exchange those. What's the difference? It's about three experience, I guess. Uh, oh, it's two maximum and one minimum experience. Uh, the damage, I mean, not experience. Uh, you know, I have experience on my mind because that's what I actually wanted to get, but oh well. Well, let's go into the wild, wide world. Uh, you see canyon. Okay. Well, first I guess let's save, because if I die, I would have to repeat a big chunk. Okay, so it highlighted Klamath on my map, but seeing how there's not uh, no actual time limit this time around, at least it seems there isn't, I will go around the map a little bit. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's very slow, presumably because I'm in the mountains. What? What happened? Is that a random encounter? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you encounter a war party. You see a warrior. Leave our land. The spirits of the sky. Peace on you. Okay. So that's some other tribe then. Or, or something. I don't want to fight with them, really. You see a car. The car is a little wet. <laughs> it cannot be repaired. You see some junk that was uh, has almost washed away. Okay, so they, they don't really want to talk. May the spirits of the wind blow a foul stench in your direction. Okay. May the spirit of earth swallow you. Well, they don't seem to like me very much. Hmm. Hmm. Can't I go? I guess I can't go more this way. Onto the coastline. What? What's happening? I don't quite know why didn't he move? Like, uh, the, the, the map... Uh, the pointer on the map seems kind of stuck. Like, I'm clicking right now and nothing's happening mm, you see a small group of rat scorpions and somebody's dead <laughs> it's like a small encampment oh damn it that was my bonus turn I guess Okay. Mm. You see a dead villager with some healing powder. Okay, I'll take that. They are not going to need it anymore. You see a pot, finely crafted clay pot. Okay. And you see a stone monument, a chest. It's a little bit dishonorable to. Well, what would I what would I need a rock for? It's a rock. The granite ink model is an upgraded version. Okay, so I guess it's intended for throwing. Hmm. Required strength one. Um I don't really want it. It's a little bit dishonorable to loot their bodies and their homes, but obviously if they are all dead, they are not going to need it. And I will need it to save my people.
Well, overall it was worth it for the healing powder, I guess. But I still, I don't understand, like, I'm clicking on the map right now. And nothing's actually happening. I guess maybe that was impassable terrain. Okay, there, there's not much in the vicinity, it seems, apart from mountains. And I move very slowly through them. So, I guess let's go to, to that Klamath place for now. Mm, a bound band of outcasts. I'm going to teach you some manners. Well, will you? I'm not sure. Probably you will. I'm pretty weak. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> Minus one. Presumably because it's night and I can't see very well, right? Leave us. Go away. Yeah, I don't foresee great success. There's simply too many of them, I think. It seems everyone around is very hostile for some reason. Yeah, but I can't see it ending well. Like I'm I'm pretty dead, right? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to survive this. I probably won't even kill one of them. Hmm. I probably shouldn't wander around the map with no weapon. Like, after I get a gun, it should get easier. You have died. Your village is lost, doomed to die of starvation. Okay. Oh. I guess I have to flee. Because I can't defeat them. That much is clear for me at this point. Okay, it's a twenty. It's twenty to forty-one, the year. So I think it's around a hundred years from the events of Fallout One, which is significantly more than a generation. But still, I don't think it's long enough for the deeds of the Vault Dweller to sort of um, to 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 become legend. Like it's not that long. It's not like World War I is some legendary time for us. Although I guess it's a little bit different, because obviously the level of technology is different. We have a lot of actual, uh, you know, historical record from that time, whereas... Although the Vault Dweller was literate, like, he probably would have... Mm, but, but but I guess maybe they are not, so even if he had, like, memoirs or, or a journal, 
then maybe the people of Arroyo uh, can't read that. But I guess, again, actually, why? Like, if he founded Arroyo and he was pretty intelligent, uh, then why didn't he teach them how to read or something, or how to record history? Overall, I, I don't quite understand the setup of this game, but oh well. And let's go into Klamath. Mm, you have entered a small town called Klamath. Okay. This is a fire hydrant. Without without vault silly ceiling splinks, uh, sprinklers, you might need one of these to put out fires. What? Why is why is the description like this? This character has never seen a vault in his life, so why would he compare the utility of a fire hydrant to the water sprinklers in the vault, which he has never seen? And there are several several things here: some ads, job notices, and even a drawing. It looks like some of these could have been here for a while. I guess I'll take a look at the drawing. A crude drawing of what looks like Brahmin with a big X uh, through it and the word Tar scrolled underneath. What? Ah, okay, so that means a Brahmin called Tar has gone missing, right? Because there's an X on, on the drawing, which means it's not here, right? It denotes the lack of... Uh, okay. Mm, this one looks good. Something about booze. Booze? Uh, got your attention, didn't, didn't I? Uh, what? Bum leg? Prevents business. Needs help... R need help refueling still. Speedy and reliable type needed. See Whiskey Bob at my Buckner's place. Okay. Something about a bath. Feeling grubby? Nothing, nothing makes a feller feel better than a nice bath. Three fun-filled types to choose from. Featuring the beautiful and talented Jenny. Uh, late of the din. See, see Big Nose Sal at the bathhouse for most exciting details. What? Featuring Jenny? Is it a like? Is it a massage a massage parlor of the type which ends? Like, is it a like a sexual thing? Because the featuring Jenny, a talented and beautiful part, is kind of weird to me. Like, obviously, uh, regularly at the bathhouse, you would just clean yourself, so you you, you don't have have a particular need for talented and beautiful women to help you with that regard, unless you have, you know, other kind of entertainment in mind. I guess I will check it eventually, because I am going to look at everything in this village anyway. Uh, okay, someone wants to buy some lizard hides. Mm, top dollar for top pelts. You have gecko pelts? I have money. Golden gecko pelts, especially welcome. See me first, uh, Sojag, owner uh, operator of the Golden Gecko Tavern. Okay, something about rats. Too many damn rats in Trapper Town. Come get them. All you can eat. Slim. Okay. Something about old stuff here. Uh, genu genuine antiques. Uh, they don't make it like they used to. In fact, they mostly don't make it at all. If you want the good old stuff, see Victor Trader, east side of downtown. Mm, look like someone gone missing. Missing person. Has anyone seen Smiley the Trapper? Smiley is about six feet tall, clean and housebroken. Mostly. Disappeared up north. And I kind of miss him. What? Missing person, so and it, and it's six feet tall, so it has to be an actual man. It can't be an animal. But why does it say it's housebroken? Like, is it a slave? Is slavery a thing in this town? Well, I guess I will learn more when I talk with that pair person who posted the notice, which is Arden Buckner. Okay. 
I think that's all for now. So, that's all I need for now. Mm, you see a sleeky man, dressed in very dirty robes. Hello there, I haven't seen you in Klamath before. I'm Aldo, the town greeter. It's my job to greet anyone new in town and answer the questions they might have about, about our bucolic little burg. Welcome to Klamath. Who might you be? Uh, my name is Trevor. Thank you for welcoming me here. Well, friend Trevor, since you're new to these parts and looks like you could use some pointers, I'll let you know that it's customary to tip to tip the town greeter before asking any questions and such. Uh, I'm sure I can spare five packs for him. Here's a tip for you. Stay away from booze for a while. What? Aha! Okay. <laughs> I, I, I played myself? <laughs> okay, I totally misunderstood the point. <laughs> because... Because my character said, here is a tip, you know, here is a piece of advice for you. Stay away, stay away from booze. What I understood, what I wanted to do is to give him the money with the provision of saying, you know, don't spend it on alcohol. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I hope you don't stay in town too long. We don't need your kind here. <laughs> Tribals, they all the same. Okay, can I talk with him again? I know that you couldn't spare any money for the official town greeter earlier, but, but perhaps this time you're feeling more generous and are ready to be greeted officially to Klamath. <laughs> okay, sure, let's let's talk with him. I felt that something was missing. Here is five, five bucks. I'm ready to be greeted. Uh, thank you for the money, friend. I'm going to use it to get some medicine for my dry throat. Consider yourself officially greeted to the town of Klamath. Do you have any questions about our fair metropolis? Uh, well, actually I do. That's the, mo that's the main reason I wanted to talk with this guy, to get the most information I can. Um, uh, well, actually I'm curious about a thing or two. Uh, ask away, O oh benefactor of mine. What do folks do here in Klamath? Here in Klamath, some people farm, some raise Brahmin, Trapping geckos is what most people do. Uh, what's a gecko? That's a weird question, seeing how I fought some. A gecko is a large lizard that's hunted by the trappers around these parts for its meat and hide. But it sure is a lot of work to catch them to catch them dang critters, and dangerous too. My advice to a friend, avoid it. It's far too much work. Okay, one more thing. Uh, where can I trade things or find healing? You can buy or trade things at the Buckner house and also at the Golden Gecko. Sometimes they even have healing herbs available. Not that I'd give away any of my... Uh, no, not that they give... Not that they give me any for my condition. They are both run by real skinflints. Just get a little behind on your tab. And out you go, into the cold and rain. Okay. I've always find found the fresh air invigorating. Hmm, I have another question. Uh, where do you buy your booze? Uh, you mean my much needed medicine? Well, I used to buy it at the Golden Echo, or at the Golden Gecko or at the Buckner place, but they won't sell it to me unless I pay some money on my bill. Lucky for me, Whiskey Bob has, has been making a bit of medicine for for some friend of, friends of his. Okay. Interesting. Where would I find this Whiskey Bob? Whiskey Bob is usually at the Buckner's place, uh, right here in, in downtown. I don't think he's been able to get out to tend his still lately. He's just, uh, he's just not a reliable source of medicine for someone as unwell as myself. Uh, well, glad you found another, another, another supplier. 
could you breathe a bit more downwind? <laughs> I've got another question for you. Um, do you know where I might find a gek? I presume he's not going to even know what it means, right? A gek? Heck, you mean a gecko? I never heard about a gek, but I'll tell you about geckos. Okay, do tell. Uh, he, he said all, all of that already. Do I have any more questions? I guess not. Thanks. I think that's all that I need to know. I'm certain that your generosity to someone as needful as myself will bring you good luck. I hope to see you again soon. Okay. Some crops. There's a house. Anyone in here? Hmm, doesn't really look like it. There's like a shed. Ah, it's the crapper. The toilet is broken. Now brown is the way out to the world map, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that. Mm, so green is deeper into the town, but first let's check this, I guess. You see a very large man covered in dust, with a small smile and a blank look on his face. Meetor. Uh, nice to meet you, Tor. Anything interesting happening here lately? Uh, Bugman? Uh, take Moomoo's at night. Tor scared. Help, Tor? Uh, uh, sure, I can help you guard the Brahmin. You help Tor. Moomoo's field. Uh, now, yes? Smiles. Uh, okay, sure. I'll help you guard the Brahmin now, Tor. Okay, that's not a very successful opening round of combat. Uh, Thor likes Trevor. Thor, thank you. Bugman bad. Not let Bugman eat Moomoos. Uh, I, hope, I hope we can put a stop to these things attacking your Moomoos. Uh, I mean Brahmin. I don't think anything would attack with both of us here. Okay, so are more of them going to come? Or like what's what's my actual objective in this mission? Because you know, for now I've only killed one rat scorpion. Oh, I guess there are more here. Are they coming or I think they are. Like, I think they are approaching. Which might potentially be a problem, because there's quite a few of them. Uh, maybe I have time to check out this house. You see red scorpion limbs. Well, I can't pick them up. Even if you were to sleep by yourself on this thing, you would not be sleeping alone. <laughs> Pre presumably because it's full of bugs. Uh, meat jerky. These smoked and dried chunks of beast flesh remain chewy delicious, even and even somewhat nutritious for years and years and years. Okay. Can I take them? I can. Uh, Let's get back to the Brahmin. Hmm. It seems the scorpions are not particularly eager to actually advance on my, on my position. Hmm. 
Okay, hit for 9 hit points. It's not great. And poisoned as well. few enemies left, like f four red scorpions, I don't think I can take them all, and he's not of much help, to be honest. Not sure, let's, let's try, I guess. Uh, does this heal me if I eat it? This does nothing. <laughs> no. Well, I guess it, it, it is unreasonable to expect eating food to heal your actual wounds. situation is not that great. salvage this, if I'm lucky with the rolls. Because that's mostly what this is about, what this is, what this is about, right? Whether I get good rolls on, on attack, and I guess whether my enemies get poor rolls on their attack. Okay, I think there's one more. No, I leveled up as well. That's actually quite useful, I guess, because I will get a perk, I think. Uh, this level. So sure, let's... Oh, something has fallen into my eye. Mm. Let's level up. Mm, okay, awareness. With awareness, you are, uh, you are given detailed information about your critter you examine. You see their exact hit point informations. Uh, and information about any weapon they are equipped with. Okay, this is potentially kind of useful uh, if I can see hit points because um, I can determine if I fight a couple enemies, I can determine which one is the best one to attack. So maybe I'll consider this, but let's see what else I can choose. In cautious nature, you are mo more alert outdoors and enemies are less likely to gang up on you, you gain plus 3 perception during random encounters. Okay, that's kind of useless. Mm. You gain 50% more skill points from books. Uh, potentially useful, depending on how many skill skill books there are in Fallout 2. Uh, you're more likely to move before your opponents. Your sequence is plus 2. Okay, this is potentially useful again. Here and now, you gain another level, pointless basically wasting a perk. Night vision, uh, presence, modified reaction, quick pockets, uh, accessing your inventory costs two action points instead of four. Okay, this is potentially useful as well. Uh, have a better chance of finding special encounters on the world map. Okay, kinda useful I guess. Uh, This will increase your intelligence for the purposes of dialogue. I already have very high intelligence, so kind of pointless. Plus five percent experience is not that much, so also seems kind of pointless. 
The blood of a thief runs through your veins. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, so I, I'm kind of torn between this and the and this, but I think I will take earlier sequence to go faster in combat because knowing how much enemy, how much HP my enemy has, does not necessarily help me to actually defeat them. Uh, although maybe this is better if I want to heal or. Eh, let's take this. Go quicker in combat. So my sequence is now... Oh, it's still 18. Interesting. Uh, maybe it only counts... Ah, because I haven't finished leveling up. Okay. Uh, what do I want? I guess I will... Put a point into barter. And done. Oh, it's still 18. I guess m maybe it only counts in combat, like it adds the one point when I'm actually in combat. I hope it does something, because if it doesn't, then I kind of wasted the perk point. All the red scorpions that were threatening the Brahmin. Okay. Uh, Bugs dead. Mumu safe. Thor, thank you. Okay. So let's go back to Klamath. You gain 250 experience points. Okay. A Vix. So this is the trader. Hmm. Is he actually here? I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. I'm not going to steal from him, even though obviously it might have been beneficial to me if I did, but I just don't want to do it. Like it's obviously not a nice, not a nice thing to do after rolling into town to start stealing from people. Do we have some food? Well, I do actually. Is that is that blade you have really sharp? Who dressed you so funny? Let's play tag. You're it. Okay. Uh, you see a large, mangy, buff-colored dog with a feral look to it. Can I... Woof woof. Uh, hmm. You're just hungry, aren't you, boy? Let me see if I have some delicious dry meat to give you. Oof. The mongrel happily grabs the yummy dry meat, dropping a key that it must have had in its mouth. You pick up the key. Ah, poor boy, you must have been hungry. Uh, pat the dog on the head. Stares at you lovingly. Okay, so I guess uh, maybe it's this game's dog meat. Um, but I pick it up a key. Trapper Town Key. Okay, I have no idea what this is about, but presumably it's used for something at some point. Mm, but I feel like this episode has been long enough, so you know what? I am going to explore the rest of the town uh, next time. For now, 
Uh, I'm going to save and end it here. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.